assume this is the function given by your interviewer and the question is you have to remove the duplicate element from the array and you have to do this in in place okay that does not means you will have one more array and keep storing the elements there no you have to do this problem in place and at last whatever elements left you can have it and you have to give the number of unique elements present in the array so that that point user can use and remove the other in future also okay you have to do like that this is the scenario given to you you have to code so this is the code what i have done here is i have taken a left pointer at zero because we know the zeroth value will be every time unique okay because it is a single element then we have taken the length of the array then we are starting it from the right pointer we are starting from the first index and we are going up to the end position and in that what iteration what we are doing we are just comparing the left element we are checking the left element what we have currently means at this pointer is that not equals to right if that is the case means we are getting a new number because if this two matches then we are getting the same number right so that means we should get the higher number and note one more thing here the array is sorted we will get the numbers in a completely sorted manner so here you can see array of left we are comparing the left pointer whatever we have with the right element like current element if that is same just continue the loop if that is different then what we need to do have to increment that left pointer index and there you have to store the current right element which is different okay that we are doing here and at last we are incrementing okay because on the left index we have something so we cannot store there on plus of one we are storing reason of returning left plus one at the last is at the left we will have all the unique element as array is zero based so number of elements will be z left plus one so if i console it and show you node index js you can see this is our array at the last and this is the number of unique count as expected by the interview